special piece I'm looking forward to reviewing with you today. I'll be going over the Doxa Sub 300T Clive Cussler Edition. This is a numbered special edition, and Doxa clarified it's not limited. This watch honors Clive Cussler, who wrote the fictional books based on the main character Dirk Pitt. These books tie fictional adventure stories to factual historic events, ships, and shipwrecks, and they're really great books to read. Clive Cussler started writing these books in the late 60s with Dirk Pitt's Doxa watch being referenced throughout the series. I want to give special thanks to Dr. Peter Miller for his assistance with information on this watch. If you want his book and incredible details behind this special edition, I'm posting a direct link in the description. Now, if you like this review, please click the like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified of future videos. Now, on to the unboxing. All right, so to get into the unboxing, they did a really nice job with this packaging here. It matches the tone of the watch. It matches, you know, basically what the purpose of this watch is, is to honor Clive Cussler. So it's obviously in the shape of a book. And on the back here, just going with the whole map, the adventure type of uh, style here. And you open it up, and what you'll see here is your warranty card, and you get your instructions. So just to give you an example here, what it keeps with the design of the packaging. You also get this really nice NATO strap here. And the nice thing about it is the hardware does match with the finish on the watch. So they did really nice here. Over here, you'll get some paperwork and this is signed by Dirk Kussler, which is Clive's son. And you also get the CEO little note and their signatures. And you open up the back and what you'll see here, of course you get your tag. And you get the watch. Dirk Pitt wears an orange Doxa Sub 300T in Clive Cussler's novels. There have been Dirk Pitt and Clive Cussler limited editions released over the years, which were Doxa watches with traditional designs. Their names were added to the case backs and one special edition had Dirk Pitt on the dial. I actually reviewed one of the Clive Cussler Shark Hunter models 13 years ago that I'll link. Please excuse the quality, it was before high definition. Now when Doxa announced this special edition, it was not what many expected. Doxa wanted to do something different with this one. Every decision made in the decision of this watch was intentional. This Clive Cussler tribute watch was developed over a two-year period and designed with input and approval with Clive Cussler's family. The detailing of this watch is nothing like Doxa has ever done. Looking at every angle of this watch, you can appreciate the amount of thought put into every detail. It's meant to resemble a watch found in a shipwreck. This was not an easy process to accomplish. This is PVD finished steel. PVD stands for Physical Vapor Deposition, and it coats, darkens, and hardens the steel. After this process, they put it in a machine to create a distressed look. They had an easier time doing this with the case, but they had challenges with the bracelets. The dial is individually handmade to look like aged parchment to appear like an old map. It features a khaki color and a compass rose decoratively grinded by hand in the center, and it almost appears laser etched. The light plays so well on this dial. They also added very specific details to honor Clive Cussler. His name is engraved under the grip of the bezel along with a unique number on each watch. The case back is engraved with the names of significant shipwrecks and other historical artifacts discovered by NUMA up to 2022. Clive Cussler's organization NUMA is named after a fictional government agency that he wrote about. NUMA stands for National Underwater Marine Agency that Dirk Pitt worked for. The date wheel shows the days around the dial in matching khaki with faded black numbers except for three dates. Clive Cussler's birth date is July 15, 1931. Doxa colored the 7, 15, and 31 date numbers in red. These are those extra little detailed tributes that must make his family proud of this watch. The case is 42.5 millimeters wide, 44.5 millimeters lug to lug, 13.65 millimeters thick, and the watch on bracelet weighs 190 grams. It's 20 millimeters between the lugs for strap changes, and water resistance is 300 meters. The crystal is flat AR coated sapphire. The handmade dial is so well thought out. The khaki color of the faded parchment look has the traditional printing of the Doxa automatic at the top left and the sub 300T at the bottom right. They added Clive Cussler in red below that. You would think it would be busy with the compass rose in the background, but it's faded and very subtle. It shows incredible detailing without making it look too busy and keeping it perfectly legible. 
The black hands are the traditional doxa shapes, with the block of the second hand being red to match the outer bezel ring, Clive Cussler print on the dial, three red dates, and the Jenny Fish logo on the crown. Doxa uses Super Luminova for the loom. It has a creamy faux patina that works really well with the aged theme of the watch. They applied a nice thick coating on the 12 o'clock pip, the three hands, and the markers around the dial. It glows bright green, and I get a good hour out of the charge. All of the steel on this watch was designed with a distressed look as if it were an old watch found in a shipwreck. I think they pulled it off nicely. The darkened PVD finish and some lighting looks like gunmetal, and looking closer at it you can appreciate the process they used to mark up the finish for the artificial patina. There's no polish to the finish anywhere on this watch like they do with the standard sub 300T models. I love what they did with the back case. The detailing on it is amazing. In the center circle, they embossed the words National Underwater Marine Agency surrounding the NUMA logo. Then they added significant shipwrecks and historical artifacts discovered and surveyed by NUMA up to 2022. The only thing I don't like about the case back is there are no edges or notches for a watchmaker to easily grip and remove it. This makes servicing it more difficult and vulnerable to marking it. The individual beads of rice and the links also match the finish of the watch. The links by the case are wider and taper from 23mm to 20mm. The clasp is thick and it shows the Jenny Fish logo and Doxa. It has two sets of buttons, a push button to open the fold over clasp and the other set of buttons engage the ratcheting extension that could be extended to micro adjust it for when the wrist swells during the day or fully extended for a dive suit. The nice advantage to this design is you could adjust the size while it's on your wrist without having to remove the watch. The links use screws for removing and adding, making it easy to size. The crown is on the 3 o'clock side, and it screws down to increase the water resistance. It's signed with the Jenny Fish logo in red as a tribute to the Jenny family who now owns the Doxa brand. On the opposite side is a helium escape valve for saturation diving. Like other Doxa subs, the bezel has numbers etched and painted on the inner and outer rings. The inner ring is brushed, and the numbers are black and matches the minutes around the dial. The outer ring indicates dive depth and uses red paint. The outer ring is usually polished. This addition matches the finish to the rest of the watch. The bezel is 120 click, unidirectional with good grip and solid action. Now when you look at the watch on the side, beneath the bezel it shows engraving that reads Swiss made, water resistance to 30 atmospheres, in honor of Clive Cussler, Doxa Sub 300T, followed by the unique number to this watch. Modern Doxa subs typically use Salita movements. Interestingly, my dealer confirmed with Doxa that they used a decorated ETA 2824-2 elaborated movement. Now just to clarify, these are not COSC certified movements. Doing a little research, standard 2824-2 movements are adjusted when manufactured in one position. Elaborated uses the same grade of materials, but it's adjusted in three positions. The power reserve is 38 hours. Now here's the watch on my seven and a half inch wrist. I've always liked beads of rice bracelets. They're very comfortable to wear. This one wears pretty big. Each link is five millimeters thick and they're not long, so there's a lot of flexibility. The wider link at the case balances out the look and the taper to the 20 millimeters is a good size. Anything wider would have been likely too big. I keep the extension a little more open on hotter, humid days, and I like wearing it looser. The width of this bracelet keeps it from sliding around a lot and flopping around on my wrist. Now here's a comparison to my 1200T Professional. The 300T replaced the 1200 a few years ago, but they're very similar watches. Now you can see the shapes of the cushion case and bracelet are pretty much the same. The steel on the 1200T is polished on the sides of the case, the outer ring of the bezel, the individual beads on the bracelet, and the sides of the bracelet. The stainless steel is brushed along the front. Now just to be clear, this is still a sub 300T. The steel finish and lack of polish makes this look different, but it's the same watch in the end. If you like the design, look, and feel of the 300T, and you like what they did with this edition that sets it apart, you're going to be happy. This is an inspired design. The packaging is really nice and you can display this on a bookshelf. The signed letters by Doxa and Clive's son Dirk with a nice touch. They also added a little more value with the premium that you pay with the khaki NATO strap with matching hardware on it. 
Doxa is also donating a percentage of sales from each watch sold to NUMA. The only criticism I'd give this watch is that case back not being as accessible as other watches. So if a watchmaker doesn't have expensive equipment, you can't access it easily. Outside of that, they've done a great job on this watch. Doxa created a great tribute here to Clive Cussler, and the tribute details are subtle enough that if you aren't a fan of the books, you could still enjoy this watch. So I want to thank you for watching this review. If you like it, please click the thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified of future videos. And please leave a comment below on what you think of this watch. I love reading your thoughts. I want to once again thank Dr. Peter Miller for his feedback and helpful information on this review. If you'd like to know more about Doxa and this Clive Custler tribute, I'm placing a direct link to his book in the description. This was his labor of love for Doxa and the Clive Custler fans. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at DougFNJ. I also launched my website. Visit DougFNJWatches.com. I'm an authorized dealer for LoomTech watches. Use discount code DougFNJ for 15% off. I'd also like to thank my friend Lori at Watches of Switzerland for the great service. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching. Be safe and have a great day.